Hi, and welcome to our Spotlight video series. Today you will learn how to manage your documents in Qubit Select. Let's get started. The Documents page is located next to the Details page in Qubit Select. From here, you can see any documents that you have already uploaded to your job in Qubit Select. Documents can be of any file type, PDFs, JPEGs, CSV, even BIM files. You can upload a document as either a trade package document or a job document. Trade package documents can be assigned to one or multiple trade packages and are what your suppliers will see in the supplier portal. Examples of these documents may include BOQ reports, project plans, details and specifications documents, or terms and conditions. All documents under the job document field are able to be viewed by anyone from your company with access to the job. These documents are not available to your suppliers. Examples of these documents may include internal progress reports, copies of contracts, even photos of the construction site itself. When you click Upload Documents, you'll be presented with the Choose Discipline window. Disciplines help you further clarify the category of document you have uploaded and can be sorted on the Documents page. You can then upload your documents either by dragging from an open folder or by navigating using the inbuilt finder window. If a document is uploaded with the same file name as an existing document, the existing document will be updated. A tooltip will appear to notify you if this occurs. You can then select the document to see its version history. You can restore, download, or remove an earlier version of the document. Restoring a document from a previous version will create a copy as the new current version. At any time, the current version can be previewed. Each of the columns on the Documents page is able to be sorted. Simply click on the heading to sort a column. You can also download, preview or delete individual documents directly from the Documents page. Multiple documents can be downloaded or deleted at once as well. In preparation for inviting your suppliers to view these documents, you will need to assign them to a trade package. Click on one or more of your documents, then click Assign Documents. You can choose which trade package or trade packages you would like this document to be assigned to by clicking on the text or the tick box. If you are assigning a document that every supplier must have access to, such as standard contract terms, you can select Assign to all current and future trade packages. This will ensure that every invited supplier will have access to this document, even if you add a new trade package after a revision takes place. If you choose a selection of documents to assign, you might see that there is an indeterminate icon against some trade packages. This indicates that some, but not all, of the documents you have selected have already been assigned to that trade package. As you see here in this example, there are many documents that have been uploaded. Some of them have already been assigned to trade packages. Others haven't yet been assigned. You can see how many trade packages a document has been assigned to. And you can also filter and sort your trade package documents to see exactly what is loaded for a selection of trade packages instead of the entire list of documents. 
The next step in your process is to invite suppliers to contribute a bid to your job. To find out more about inviting suppliers to view your documents, please click on the link on your screen now or the link in the description of the video below. That concludes our video. If you'd like assistance using any of BuildSoft's products, please get in touch with our friendly staff. And as always, happy estimating.